Hi, and welcome back to the Biblically Inspired Life. I wanted to speak with you again about the topic from last time, which is finding your ministry. Recently, I had two conversations with women who I believe have problems with commitment and discipline. And I just wanted to share with you how this can be a problem in finding and being successful in your ministry. The first woman I spoke to said that she didn't know what the Lord had for her to do in ministry and she was at a loss. So as we got to speaking, and I know this woman very, very well, I suggested that she call up her Bible study leader and offer to bring dessert for the next Bible study. Well, at first she thought that was a great idea and she said that she would do it. And by the end of the conversation, before we got off the phone, she had talked herself out of doing this. And that's because she did not want to make a commitment even for one meeting the following week. The second woman I spoke to is at the beginning of ministry with her and her family and we spoke about the different steps that needed to be taken to get this ministry off to the right start. She was very excited and she took notes and, and we had a great discussion together. But in the end, these different milestones have not been met and they are stagnant in their ministry. So we can see in these two examples how being disciplined or being bound to a commitment has become a real stumbling block for two people in their ministries. So I want to encourage you as you're seeking the Lord to make sure that he has not placed something upon your heart and you are just unwilling to be bound and committed to following through on that. And I want to just impress upon you the importance of your ministry. We are all part of the body of believers. Yeshua, that's Jesus, is the head, and the rest of us are part of this dynamic body. And if you're not doing your part, if you're not doing what you've been called to do, you're really letting the whole body down. You're also letting down the Lord, but, but many people don't think about the fact that they're also letting down the whole body. If the heart decides it's going to quit beating, if the lungs decide they're going to quit breathing, if the arms or legs decide they're going to quit moving, that is going to hurt the entire body. And it's the same way with each of us if we are being held back or not following through with the ministry that we're called to do. So I just want to encourage you again today to seek the Lord to do and hear what he has for you to do. God bless you. Have a great day.